Hi guys, welcome back! In this week's video, we are going to be covering a very popular topic, and that is whether or not to introduce a pacifier during lactation, and if so, what is the best way to do that? My name is Cassie Reyes, I'm a registered nurse and a board certified lactation consultant, and I'm also the co-founder of People's Lactation here in Washington, D.C. If you're new to the channel, I'm so happy you found us. I would love to have you join the community. So if you like what you hear in the video, please go ahead and subscribe down below and join our community. So I guess the most important thing that you need to know about introducing a pacifier is that it's best to wait a good four to six weeks if possible, but two to three weeks or until lactation is really well established. So in the early days of lactation, we are working on the supply and demand. And every time that baby comes to breast or chest to eat, we are telling your brain to produce more milk. Sometimes a pacifier can mask hunger cues Babies suck when they're hungry, they suck on their hands, the early hunger cues like smacking their lips, sticking out their tongue, moving their head side to side. All these cues are very easy to miss if baby is sucking on a pacifier. So if we're missing those cues and baby is going to the breast or chest a little less frequently, this can affect supply in the long run and it can also just be a little bit of an overstimulation to the roof of baby's mouth when we are still working on latching, especially if the lactating parent has shorter nipples or if the shape of the nipple is just very different than that long, firm pacifier. So that's the advice that I tend to give people. However, if early on when you're in the hospital, your baby has gone to the nursery, maybe for a procedure, or just to give you a little bit of chance to rest, and you notice that maybe one of the staff has given your baby a pacifier. This tends to happen for circumcisions. They give baby a pacifier to suck and soothe during the procedure. Don't fret. This early introduction doesn't mean 100% that it's going to ruin your lactation journey or ruin latching or that your baby is going to have nipple confusion right away. Most babies are capable of going back and forth. It's just that it's best practice and recommended to hold off on a pacifier as long as possible until you really feel that you guys are in a good groove that latching becomes a little easier, that your milk has completely come in. So, and I tell every parent, it's up to you. This is your baby. If you're not anti-pacifier and you are totally fine and your baby seems like they just need something to suck on, um, it's up to you. You're the parent. Just keep in mind that waiting a little bit longer could be really beneficial for your lactation journey. The same also applies for introducing an artificial nipple in the case of offering a bottle. Um, but some babies, like I said, just go back and forth easier than others. And in the case of a preterm infant, sometimes it can be recommended that they need a little bit of supplementation for them to reserve some of their energy. And preterm infants tend to actually do a better job at switching back and forth between bottle and breast or chest. So those are the basics that you need to know to make an informed decision on whether or not to introduce a pacifier early on. I hope that you found it helpful. Maybe you have more questions than you had before and if so, go ahead and comment down below. I'd love to start a conversation. Let me know what's worked for you. If you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you're notified each week when I post a new video. I also have a survival guide down below for helping you get through the first one to five days of lactation. So feel free to click on that link and 
join our Facebook group, Lactation for the People, where we have an ongoing community of support from parents like you. Thanks for stopping by. If you found the information helpful, please share it with your friends and other families that you know who are expecting little ones. I am so excited that you're here, and I will see you all next week. Bye.